going to continue on the learn typography by building a nutrition label on FreeCodeCamp. Now we're on step 31 here, um, so we've got our label looking good so far. So step 31, the rem unit stands for root em and is relative to the font size of the HTML element. So we want to create a sm-text, which is the class that we just created, and set the font-size to 0.85 rem, um, like so. And if you remember, so that's the root m, um, so it'll be 0.85, I guess, sort of percent of um, whatever the HTML font size is. So as we can see here, the HTML one that we set, I guess, at the top is 16 pixels. So it'll be 85 sort of percent of that um, on 0.85. And, and as you can see here, that's roughly 13.6. So let's check that code and continue. So below your SM text element, create a new H1. So H1 and closing H1. And with the text calories, 230. And wrap the 230 in a span tag. So we've got the outside. So Closing span like so, and give the span a class equals right. And if you remember, we've got the right class to float right, as we do with the uh, span up here as well. So there we go. Step 33 create a new dot calories dash info h1 selector and set the top and bottom margin to minus five. So just do margin top and bottom minus five picks and then left and right to minus two PX like so. There we go. Step 34, create a calories info span. So dot calories dash info and then span selector. So it's the span within the calories info um, element and then set the font size to 1.2 M. And let's just see if that passes. But as you can see, we're now going over the box. So yeah, the larger font size of the number 230 is causing it to overflow. So we want to give the this class here, the calories info h1, an overflow property and set it to hidden. And that will um, avoid that. So there we go. Step 36, typography is often more art than science. You may have to tweak things like alignment until it looks correct. So give the calories info span a margin top dash top and set it to minus seven pixels. And then that then shifts our um, sort of 230 text back in line with calories. So step 37, below your calories info element, add a div with a class, I'm just gonna do the class now, of divider MD. Oops, and we want to just close that div. Is that from this one? Let me just see. No, that is from here, so we just need this div. There we go. Step 38, create an .md, I guess medium selector, give it a height property of five pixels. There we go. That's our dividing line again. And then we want a new div element. So div below the MD and give it a class value of daily dash value and SM dash text. And then within the new div, so inside that we want to give it a P element like so. The class is going to be equal to right and bold. So that will be applied to that. And this is percentage daily value and then the star. Like so. So let's check that. Perfect. And finally, step 40, the float styling is causing the new P element to be outside of the labels border. So you can see here. So use your existing divider element as an example. Um, to add a new divider after the P element. Um, so here's our sort of divider. So let's do that. Um, and actually that doesn't look right. So, um, 
use your existing divider element as an example to add a new divider after the p element. So this is div the divider. Uh, let's try. That doesn't seem right. Um, div class divider. I'm just going to check that. Okay, so that passes. Um, I'm not sure about that. Um, maybe in the next one we'll uh, be fixing that up. But anyway, that seems to pass the test um, so Yeah, for this step. So thanks for watching and look forward to seeing you in the next video.